Hey friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you for a little bit about Intel's advisor and how you can use it to inspect and do performance profiling for your Python applications as well. I thought I could only use this against just native applications, exe files on Windows, but I can also analyze and inspect how my Python applications perform. This is really neat because now I can take those Python applications, run them through a high-grade performance profiler, and get roofline reports, hotspot analysis, and even take a look at the source code that could be optimized and get, and get recommendations from Intel that tell me exactly how I can improve my application. Let's take a look at a sample using the TensorFlow tutorial and how we can train a model, execute that model, and then analyze its performance. This is the TensorFlow tutorial for beginners. This is a very simple example that uses the TensorFlow library in Python to inspect some handwritten numbers, test them, and train a little bit of identification to see if those handwritten numbers can be identified as real numbers. It uses an existing database called the MNIST database, and you can see what some of those handwritten numbers look like right here. Now, we've already identified these, and we have the results of what these numbers actually are sitting in another file right next to it. But this is a very simple example that we can use to test some image identification and recognition using TensorFlow. Let's take a look at our source code that's going to analyze these images and train our model, and then execute that model and see how accurate it is in predicting what numbers are handwritten here. Now, this is the tutorial code that was written over there in that TensorFlow page. I've copied it into Visual Studio Code for us, so it's a little bit easier to see. You can see we import TensorFlow on line 3. We continue down and set up our model on lines 9 and 10, loading the data from that MNIST data set. Configure the models on lines 14 through 19. Compile it on line 21 train the model on line 26, and eventually evaluate the model on line 28. Pretty simple example, but doing some very impressive machine learning here. Let's run it through the Intel Advisor and see what we can find about the performance of this sample. The complete analysis of our sample took about 34 seconds on this machine. Now, I'm running with the Intel Python compiler, which means I have access to all the vector instruction sets that Intel makes available to us. You can see the total CPU time, the number of vectorized loops, and you can see how quickly it executed inside those vectorized loops. We know that this is going to give us better performance, and proof positive is right here in our report. Our scalar code, though, took much, much longer to execute and run through the application. I can scroll down and see more information about the top time-consuming loops, and I can see how many trips it went through, and I can even drill in and find out more information about exactly what happened here. I get recommendations as well, as well, and finally, information about the platform, the machine that this ran on. Let's take a look at the Roofline report now and see if there's anything more we can learn about our application. So here's my roofline chart, and I can see that I've got a couple of loops that have been identified here. I've got a green one over here that we can take a look at, and I can see it ran very, very quickly. But I really want to drill in and see these ones that are more compute-bound over here, like this big red one. And I can see that this took 0.14 seconds. It was vectorized with the AVX instruction set, but I can drill down into it a little bit further and see exactly how it executed, where in my call stack it ran. I also have recommendations that I can look at that'll tell me optimization recommendations here. It's memory bound. So we need to improve our caching efficiency here in order to make sure that this runs a little bit faster. Let me go take a look at the complete survey for my application here. And I can see this is unoptimized. The floating point operation processing could be optimized, and we could use our instruction sets a little bit better 
have a little bit better caching, and we'd get better performance out of our application. If I scroll down, I can see other performance issues listed here, like this one that says use the smallest data type that gives the needed precision. That kind of makes sense. Don't allocate extra memory when we can use smaller data types. There's so much more that you can learn and discover about your applications, your Python applications, not just your compiled applications, using the Intel Advisor. I hope you check it out and optimize and write better Python applications today.